Friendos, welcome back. And thank you so much, Red Dead Monkey, for 11 months. I really appreciate it. Do we not have sound, or do I... I just have my speakers really low. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Happy Murica Day to you as well. I have already partaken in the, uh, the traditional searing beef over fire. Oh, fucking so tired. I don't know what it is. Like, I love doing, you know, I come from, like, the restaurant i say restaurant lightly i was never literally like actually in a real restaurant um food service there we go i come from food service so i understand food service i'm good at food service but there's something about like my job as a company manager that just doesn't it takes such different energy from food service that when i have to do both of them it's so tiring but, uh, I learned how to grill today in that today was the first time I've ever grilled personally, like myself. So I did it. Yay me. We did, um, Mexican street corn, which is very easy and was very good. And that turned out good. And we had enough food. I've never grilled before. Nothing about that sounds fun. Like, I've had, I've been to places where other people have grilled. I do not disdain a nicely, a nicely grilled burger. Like, I like that. That's great. But taking a day in the middle of summer that is hotter than Satan's ass crack and stand, choosing to stand in front of fire in the blazing sun why would you do that? Why? Why? Go to a restaurant. Make some sad chef do that. Uh, we did chipotle mayo because I was lazy. So rather than like put spices in the mayo, we just bought chipotle mayo. And then um, I don't know how to pronounce the kind of cheese. Which is why I keep saying Mexican street corn instead of the actual word for it, which I also don't think I could pronounce. Because I've never heard anybody who is not very white say it out loud, so I'm probably wrong. Hey, Drazar. Um. I'm also just kind of a very indifferent cook. I used to I used to like baking. I still like baking most of the time when I have like free time, which is never, but I do like baking. Baking's science. Baking's made of science. There's rules in baking. No, it's not queso. It's um I forgot how to spell it. Okay, well, yes. It is this kind of cheese. It's very, like, salty and crumbly. It's really good. Really good on corn. Hey, Beatty! I am delaying pain tactics. You're right. We're gonna get just absolutely mowed over by this fucking cylinder man again. No, we are discussing the, uh, Oh, I forgot to do my chat. We're discussing the venerable American tradition of cooking meat over fire during one of the fucking hottest days of the year. Hey, East River. Uh, 
I hope that means you're home. Well, I guess it is 8 o'clock. Wait, 7 o'clock, not 8 o'clock. The fucking clock on my stream machine is still incorrect. Oh, good. Thank God. I was like, if they're still at the theater, Jesus Christ. <sighs> what was I doing? Stream elements. I mean, Grid is still at the theater, but that's to be expected. Thanks, I guess. Today is is a was a holiday for the big theater, but not a holiday as far as the actors union is concerned, which meant that we still had to work. So I got to, uh, I got to orchestrate and cook for a barbecue for everyone at the theater, which was super fun because they only had an hour lunch break. So then when they were done. What when I was done cooking coincided when with when their lunch break was over so that everybody else went upstairs to watch the design run of the show and I got to stay downstairs and clean it all up. So that was fun. So I've had a great holiday. This was a wonderful holiday that I've had. Thanks. I actually I was expecting it to be hotter. I mean grilling. I'm sorry, Omega. I I didn't mean to uh it's not a federal holiday. Well, I mean, it's... Is it a federal holiday? But yeah, we're also not state employees, so it doesn't matter. Um... <laughs> Having worked many Christmases, <laughs> I assure you it does not matter. What am I doing? Anyway, take it up with the actors' union. I did finish DK64. God help me. He's the only one left who can. I didn't 100% it, although my fucking brain rot here, over the weekend when I was kind of, you know, it was raining and I was relaxing, I was like, oh, I wonder what I should play, you know, I think it'd be a really great day to just snuggle up on the couch and play some video games. My stupid shitty garbage brain was like, what if you, what if you worked on some more DK64? Like, fuck you, brain. <laughs> Five, five minutes, sure. Five minutes for the last of 45 runs, yes. Can I kill this thing? That would be really rad if I could kill this thing. I can't even zoom in on it, so probably not. It did die in the lava, that's good. Well, this, it was a mistake to stop here.
Man, how is that? Is that real? Is that a fucking, is that fake over there? Jesus, how did somebody get over there? Is there a floor there? I don't want to find out. Um. Anyway, I gotta stop being shitty because like it shouldn't have been it shouldn't have it should have been a fine fun day. I got to do a barbecue. I got paid for that. Now I'm just feeling like a petulant little child who's like, okay, everybody else got a party. What about me? <laughs> Last year for 4th of July, I got most of the afternoon off, but I still had to pick designers up at night. And I do remember last year for 4th of July is when we were living at Baker's house and we didn't have a home, so... Maybe things have gotten better and I should stop being a little bitch about it. Yeah, improvement! I'm not homeless! Yay! I know, I know. And I still don't have- I thought we were gonna have, like, the whole basement done by now. I thought we were gonna be, like, completely done with the stream room and everything was gonna be perfect. Joke's on me. <sighs> See, the annoying part, though, is, like, I know that this is not the joke that you're trying to make, See, though. Actually, you're probably not trying to make a joke. You're probably trying to be nice. But the really annoying part is, like, I get too much anxiety to eat in those situations. So it's, like... I made all this food and I can't even fucking eat it yet while there are people around. Yes. Yes, my own mortgage, which is great. Love that. <laughs> no. Uh. Well, I'm glad our brains are both fucked up together. very scared to... I want to go up there, but I'm... I don't know. we go. No, my weapon is 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 the sleepy sword. It's she's sleepy. Scatter Senpon Sakura. Sorry. I love this sword so much. She's purple. Oh no, this is this is inherent. This is inherent to the sword. This isn't even an ad an add-on. This is um yeah, the sword of Saint Trina. Oops. No. Oh, that's funny. Some say she's a comely young woman come girls, others some other others sure he is a boy. So we're using we're using the trans sword of sleepiness. I love it. That makes me happy. I don't know. Ow! Are you kidding me? That was a fucking fake out.
Oh, I see. Feels so dangerous. Okay, that actually wasn't as much of a terror as I thought it was going to be. Oh, I get a whole set of armor! Yeah! Ooh! And an extra hat! Oh, and then a whole fucking- two fucking sets of armor! Ah, oh, this is the best day of my life. I'm never gonna wear them, but... Happy to have them. <sighs> Today's Tuesday. Yes, tomorrow's Wednesday. Tomorrow we're going to play Maniac Mansion. Yes. Oh, I'm gonna die out here. Is this for walkies? It doesn't feel like for walkies. Oh. Love it. There's like a... I don't know if I'm gonna die if I fall down here. There's like a very stupid positive side to today, and that is, I'd, you know, like a, like a really self-flagellating positive because I don't have like my assistant is not my assistant anymore she's being the, the assistant stage manager which is awesome and then the girl who's been helping me lately my secondary assistant as you were or as it were uh is not she's not with me anymore after today she's not with me tomorrow and for the rest of the show on the positive side that means there's nobody waiting for me if I'm just late to work. So. That's awesome. Happy about that. Okay, I guess there's no way to get out of here except for this. So I guess maybe if we, as long as we don't fall on big boy there. Exactly. Sounds like my hours are whatever the vibe is. Oh, well, we didn't die, that's nice. Oh, yep. Yep, okay, yep. Fine. It's okay, I have two sets of armor. Today's been a win. Oh. Yeah, a whole five seconds. That's like an amazing amount of time.
just love that guy. Just yeet. Squanch. Oh. Well. Oh god, yes. Forgot about that. That was awful. Well, I mean, I forgot about most of the things in Dark Souls too. Because they were awful and they made me sad. Get a little health back, thank you. Be kind of embarrassing to die to you, so as much as I would love to refill my health on these sad sacks around the room, I guess I should I should play right. forgotten DK64 because I'm sitting here going, oh, maybe I should play it in my spare time. I haven't had a weekend where I've haven't had to go to work in five weeks. But you know what? Let's sit at home and play Donkey Kong 64. Do you, do you guys know how many more levels are in the actual arcade version? I really want to- I want to go up there so bad. But I feel like if I do, I'll die. And also, like... LOL the arcade version, but... I had more viewers when we were playing the arcade version than I've had in concurrently in fucking months. Ah! Goes to a hundred? Okay, well then I've already succeeded, and I'm already an expert.
99%? Is this a long game? Are you playing the long game? Trying to get me hooked so that that last 1% is like a raid boss and you're gonna be like, well, Ala, I can play with you. Oh my god. I'm bored of this. I, I'm scared to start a game that has something like dailies in it. Because, like, if I... The chances of me doing them are almost none. In which case, I have not enjoyed the game the way that the game was meant to be played. And if I do, then I have lost my whole life. Oh my god, just this guy. Please, focus on this guy. Oh, there were still more dudes around. Damn it. Like, that's why I never kept up with, with World of Warcraft. Because, like, I had Sarah. God knows I could play with Sarah. But if I'm gonna do it... I'm going to create a crafting empire. That means I never ever have to pay for a fucking pass for the game ever again. I don't have time for that. Oh, LOL. Sorry, Sitho. I just totally fucking, I, I saw your setup and I just went, no, I want to ruin Sitho's life. Yes, whatever you play, or whatever you create, I will play, even if it is Final Fantasy XIV with the serial numbers rubbed off. Yeah, because I'm a millennial and I don't understand how not to hustle. How do you do something for fun? I'm not sure. of events. Listen, I didn't even like Animal Crossing. When Animal Crossing was like, where, Ali, you, you, were, you haven't been here for three days. I was like, fuck you, you stupid little raccoon. You don't know my life. I recognize that that this is not the point, but I just think it's very funny that the good thing that you're trying to sell me on is called a weekly ordeal. You know, it's just it's just the horrors.
I don't do well with things that are on somebody else's clock. I am so scheduled and on time at work. And then when I'm home, I hate. Baker's like, do you want to meet for coffee at nine? And I'm like, I would rather die. Not because I don't want to meet for coffee, but having to do something at a time, impossible. I'm starting to think getting run over is the better option here. The only fun part about this at the moment is watching the skeletons get hit by the- STOP! Fucking Christ. I didn't deserve to live through that. Uh, there's like the hallway that continues, but the the truck here goes down the hallway, so like if I continue down the hallway, he's just gonna run me over. Which I can live through, as long as I am at absolute full health when he hits me. I love this talisman. This is the best talisman. Fucking asshole puncturing health vampire. I like how we, we, we flip up his cape. The better to get to the asshole. Good night, Drazar. Take care. doesn't even go anywhere. Is there more down here? Like that serious question, is there more down here? Oh. Is it that way? Do I have to be fireproof?
Okay, carries forever. Thank you. Damn, it's thundering. Man, there's nothing like the steady march of time. I, uh, so I grew up in pretty close to where I live now, in a very, very small town. Um, and ever since I was really little, they always did, there's this restaurant, it's like a, it's like a drive-in restaurant that is a big local favorite, been around since forever. And they always sponsored fireworks, because they're right on the park, and they're right on the river and they make a fucking killing. So they always did a fireworks show. And when I was a kid, it was, you know, just the people in the village. And then as I got to be like in high school, it started getting like, we'd get, you know, parade vendors selling balloons and shit. And that was new, nobody had done that before. And then once I left for college and once I started living on my own, it kind of got around that to all the surrounding areas that this was a thing that the village did. So a lot more people started coming. And apparently now the like expected attendance for these fireworks on the 4th is like over 10,000 people when the whole village, I think the population of the whole village is like 6,000. Just nuts. To the point where they almost canceled them this year because the guy who usually does it couldn't afford the fucking extra police presence that re was required for that many people. And there's nothing that could ever com convince me to go back for that at this point, because there are so many people, it's just fucking miserable. It was great when I was a kid because we lived really close, so you could just walk down. And anytime you had to go to the bathroom, you could just go home. Rocked. Okay. Dav, can I have a little guidance? Do I have to continue going down that hallway? Okay, so you can go down the lava. Okay. Gross. Dev, how, how, how? Is there an anti slurp ring that I don't have? Okay, all right, all right, okay, all right. All right, I have one idea, but I'm gonna go to the bathroom. Okay. 
honestly, some days, some days it's like taking a cheese grater to your face, but I promise some parts of this feel really good. And I am actually remarkably interested in this area or else I would have given up. And sometimes it's like shaking a cheese grater to your face. We've got a lot of this one violet. Interesting. Well, that's not- this isn't the answer, though, because this is where we died a million times. but there is space right there. See you. Oh my fucking Christ.
brain just went, maybe the lightning will take out my power. she coming I wish during these times it wouldn't be like first of all complete docs and then like also impossible for me to just like pause the game and take you guys to go watch the rain with me for a minute Want to sit with y'all on the porch swing? I mean, I do that with my friends all the time. So that just means we're friends. I mean, this doesn't even matter because the shit head is gonna kill me later. This is where we've been. Oh, right. Forgot. we had to kill him and I for thought he was thought he was a corpse hang on man I rode the bike this morning and like it rained last night 
end early this morning, but it wasn't raining when I went into work. I rode the bike so that, because it, it always makes me feel better. <laughs> and uh, I'm glad I got home before the shit. I'm safe here, hang on. Okay, so there's no anti-slorp ring. How the fuck... Can I get through the lava? Yeah, well, you can just fucking keep on quivering, beast eye. Oh, the first... Shit. Alright, one more time. One more time to check that out instead. Because that means I don't have to go all the way down to the second.
Yeah, they're like, when's that bitch streaming? Ah, you don't need to watch that. You're right, there it is. Okay. Alright. I feel better now. Fuck. All right, okay. Well, at least we've done something. Is this? Oh, this is the other way. So you can get there down there, down that. It's just longer. Question. The lava seems to not actually give me lava problems. It gives, it seems to give me heavy problems. So if I just like super buff my, I don't know. My beefcake self, can I do lava better? I'm sorry that I refused to use any words that made sense in that. Okay. Please give me a grace. Why can't I have a grain? Please. Oh, God damn. And 
my cell phone rings. We did it. Did we actually get the ghost glove war or the grave glove war? I can't remember which one is the important one. Maybe it's in this box. It seems like a weird place for a plant to grow. Oh, death root. Sorry, that's what we were looking for. Right. I remember. We did it! Yes! Hallelujah. One moment of joy. See, I put my phone on silent and now Grid's gonna call me like, I got stuck in the thunderstorm and I am in a ditch now. Where am I? <laughs> well, that's gonna be there forever. Okay, so I had wanted to- I really want to get the map here, but I don't remember what we were doing. <laughs> I don't remember anything from last time except the catharsis. Oh boy. Oh, you're right, there was. No. I figured that took me to the same place. Oh, I might be fucked. Oh no, I'm just on the wrong side of the lever. If Grid doesn't know what kind of dessert that I want brought home, he does not deserve to come home. The answers are chocolate ice cream, cannoli. That's it. Yes, tell me the swag strat now that I figured it out. I want to be clear, I do like other desserts, but I'm very particular about my desserts and about things people bring me and about food. So, like I love cheesecake more than anything on this world, but I am quite confident that nobody makes cheesecake as good as I do, so unless I cook the cheesecake, I'm not interested. Because I'm better. And then, I'm not really a cake person. Though, if you get me a big, big slice of, like, double chocolate, I will, I will eat it. I will consume it. Chocolate-covered strawberries are acceptable, but Grid will never get them because he doesn't like strawberries, so he won't, like, think about it. I love cannoli. Grid's mom is Italian. And that's... And I did that on purpose. Is 
Sorry, there there need to be a lot of cannoli for Final Fantasy. That's what I'm saying. Let's see what else. Do I like more desserts? Fruit used to bring me home Kit Kats. Then I kind of ate too many Kit Kats. Does it involve damage boosting? Because that would be really funny. Oh, did you? I'm so sorry. I don't- I literally don't see that message. Oh my god. I'm sorry. You drop onto the chariot. That's fucked up. Thanks, I hate it. I'm sorry, I'm like contractually obligated to comment on the, the thunder. is you. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Come on. That was logical, right? That was logical. Like, oh, that must be a key item because that seems different. No? Okay. Maybe it's, maybe it's a, you know, a use item like the rest of the fingers. No? Okay. Maybe crafting material. No? Okay. Maybe talisman. No? Okay. Weapon? Hi, Luna. I'm so sorry I was yelling. Thank you so much for 54 months. I appreciate it. Today was spicy outside, Sarah. I'm sorry for your... your sunburn. Weapon. Are you fucking kidding me? It's on a stick. Fuck me. I'm sorry, it's a hammer? Bludgeon made of an enormous finger sheathed in heavy rings. Thought to have been cut from an ancestor of the Finger Creeper. What the fuck is the Finger Creeper? Some life yet remains in this legacy of an ancient act of blasphemy as evidenced by the barely perceptible warmth that still exudes. I'm sorry, causes the finger to swell? Then flex to build up strength before giving enemies an almighty flick. Oh my god.
was worse than I expected. I want there to be a whole entire speedrunning meme category that only uses the finger. <laughs> well, Final Fantasy is sounding better and better already. why I wanted to try that one specifically. That's fun. I, you know, I'm, I'm interested enough in all of these other weapons that I'm kind of, I just, I really love the sword so much. And I have this bad habit of just picking things that are my favorite thing and then never, never changing it up. And I, I recognize that, but I love my antlers too. I love that they light up and they light up blue. And I like my little cape here. I feel like I need to find better pants, but I don't really know what better pants is. Oh, Luna, thank you so much for the gift sub. I don't understand why all the wolves are upset out here. I mean, I killed one, yes, but... Luna, I was gonna ask how is the baby, but she ain't no baby anymore. She like, she a toddler. That's fucked up. What would finger do? I'm not. I'm not saying no. I'm just asking what would it do. Oh, I'm sorry. There was a link. <laughs> yeah. Okay. That's... Yeah, that's great. We'll have to do something with that. Oh, said her first curse! That's beautiful. I hope it was a good one. Okay, we need to get down there. That's the road. You know, that's solid, Luna. I, you know, I can get behind that. Okay, I don't know how to get down there because I can't see the map.
I feel like that one's pretty common. That that situation is relatively common. How do I get down there? is down there. Oh, but I can't get across the 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 Yeah, I can't get across the thing. Let's go down there and look one more time, because maybe I missed a way to get across the bridge, because I just- I really just want the map. I remember getting spanked once for saying the word fart. And yeah, my parents always swore in front of me. <laughs> Listen, I don't know what you're talking about. Growing up in a bar is fine. I had a great time. Just because sometimes my soda glasses tasted like beer. Not relevant. Oh, did I not go down here? Maybe I didn't, like, really go down here. Yep. Oh, if Anastasia is down here, then I definitely have not been here. No, I was supposed to say gasser. Is that a word that even gets used anymore? Bye bye. Have a good night. Thank you for stopping in. Okay, we'll be a little bit more methodical about how we get over here.
Hey! No. Ooh, I got her knife. Sick. No, they like scratching the carpet. Corpse stench shack. Was that bef was that named before this guy died here? Like, our carpets- oh, sorry. What was the sign request? Oh, I'm sorry! A-S-S-H-O-L-E A-S-S-H-O-L-E See, here I was just thinking Luna was just like... Asshole! My bad. Well, yeah, but presumably when the shack was built, it was not to be a repository for corpses. This, I think, has happened kind of recently. Maybe not. Alright, I want to get up there. It seems like I cannot. This looked like ground for a second, and I was- I got dizzy. Alright, so it seems like... Yeah, exactly, bro. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, so I can't- I can't just follow the road to... Which sucks, because it's like right there. So we're gonna have to take whatever this big wraparound is. Well, maybe it's not actually, uh... Maybe this is just straight up somewhere else. Man, I want to be down there. sad that I missed the heyday of Airbnb. I mean, I hope... I hope the short-term rental industry dies a sad death. But now it's just like shit. They can fucking rate you as a, con as a customer? I mean, I get it, but I don't want to fucking... Just red get Book a hotel. 
You don't have to do the laundry. That's the whole point. What the fuck are you? Oh, we killed this guy. I remember this. Why are you here? Yeah, like, it's just not... If you have a house, and then you spend a month at camp, I don't know, in the summer? Absolutely! Like, that totally, that's great! But if you buy a second property just so you can rent it out to short-term renters, like, fuck you. Wow, that, that seems backwards, Frodo. I don't imagine that there's a ladder right here. We only ever did it once. Um, in in COVID, when I was just going to die. I mean, it wasn't like COVID wasn't over yet, and I don't think we had ac we'd gotten access to a vaccine yet. But I just could not be home anymore, and we weighed our options and felt like doing an Airbnb sounded ideal because we weren't going to encounter anybody, you know? We could just rent a place and then be there for a little while, and it wasn't going to be home. The place was okay. It was not like the pictures... It was not like I assumed it was from the pictures. And... I don't know. It, we still couldn't, like, do anything, so... We just ended up staying in someone else's house. With less of our stuff to do. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. And, like, the place we stayed just felt so... It was, it was somebody's hunting cabin. At some point. And then somebody died and somebody else took it. But it was, like, also furnished with fucking live, laugh, love target decor. Which made me so tired, because I I recognized that I was susceptible. I was like, oh, that's a nice that's a nice bunch of candles on the mantelpiece and then I look at them closer and I'm like, oh, I've seen those exact candles at Target. I just this is false. All of this is false. This is false garbage. I think Grid's home, speaking of. I'm kidding. That's not, that's not, that's not nice. Hi, Grid. How do? Right. How was the drive home? Real shitty below the highway. Uh -huh. Okay. Apparently they cancelled the fireworks downtown an hour before they started. Hmm. Yeah, it was real bad. And yeah. 
and message me. Great. I can hear him. I don't care. <laughs> That's fine, I'll deal with them tomorrow. I just, like, I was so tired when I left. Oh, yeah. I just... You were like, go get an odd narp, and I was like, no, or I could just leave. <laughs> See what I like from being there, walking with the smell. Because I forgot to bring the grill brush and grill cleaner, so... <laughs> Figured putting them away. So you didn't take the green one home, right? No. Okay. It's fine. <gasps> Poor group dropped costume and I drove. Checked bags and stuff. Oh. Good. I didn't do that. Yep. Sorry. I didn't think about it. I saw what I was talking about. I was like, oh, nope. So now we're all walking out there. Well, nobody's called me, so presumably everybody's fine at the hotel. Seems like they all would have made it before the rain started. I should have given like them umbrellas. I probably should have stayed, but I just didn't. I couldn't. Yeah, that's fine. When did they get done? Uh, I saw East River around 8. Uh, Is that where we were? Production meeting started at 6. It's not. When the band was gone before that, so. Oh, well, I guess I should have stayed then. Oh, well. So I had to chat with them about their cube land. Boss lady say anything? Nah, no, bounced. Great. That's all I, I care about. So at the end there, you would be surprised that, uh, Shane come, come down and tell us how to leave. Oh. Because you were still working. Sparky was just still there. Yeah, Sparky was, uh, giving me an earful about what lightboxes mean, and about oh, what yeah. people think lightboxes meant, apparently. Yeah. And about... Yeah. Shit. Some percussive maintenance. It's fine. Big, big old dead spot in the middle of... Oh, beautiful. Yeah. So, he's happy with life. And now Dark is there cleaning. Cleaning tomorrow, so tomorrow we'll go to the clean. We'll have clean, so it's going to clean. So they can do an adequate job. It's always good when you have to do the job before somebody else is scheduled to come in to do the job because you know yes. that if they are just the ones to do the job, the job's going to not get done right. Because then the people who have to do the job don't have to do the job. Uh, I have to take a quick bathroom break. Hold on. Came home and had a whole big cup of iced coffee because I figured I couldn't stay awake if I didn't. Oh my god, we're so far back. Damn it. This does does this help me? I don't know where this I don't remember where this wait, no, volcano cave is. Why was I here? Have I, like, done in here? <laughs> ah, okay, so no. We could do this. This is doable. Oh, wait, I feel like I remember this. Yeah, 
Yep, this is a bad spot. We need to fucking fix my setup. I can't stand the mouse or the, the microphone right in front of my face. So when you can see ghosts of other players, is that a moment when the, the other players can see you as two? Do you, do you get to see the same ghosts? Everyone, fuck all of you! Ah! Die! Success. Oh, that's a bummer. I have your staff. Stop. Butthole strap. Always successful. Yeah, she. I'm sorry, jar cannon? Oh, Jesus. Did I do it? It's all of it? Damn. Jar cannon, which uses explosives to fire great bolts. Oh, so I don't have great. So I, I don't know if they. Then this must be the only thing that I have at the moment that will fire great bolts, which actually, this is probably great also, because I don't know if. I think this will fire something different than the crossbows. didn't know there were guns in this. Well, yeah, but we have crossbow bolts and then we have arrows. And then, they, then we have, like, great arrows or some shit. See, we have arrows, great arrows, and then bolts, and then great bolts.
Well, it's the the jar said though. Uses explosives to fire great bolts. My comment about the short bow was a separate separate thought process. So this just takes us the same direction. That sucks. shit in here in this game just looks so fucking heavy. This we can. All right, this wasn't that long. I never used to mind private individuals setting off fireworks. Never really bothered me. I never thought about it. Until we lived in the last place that we lived. Where the entire fucking city quadrant that we lived in just did nothing but fire off fireworks every fucking moment of every fucking night for an entire year. Now, I hate it. I'm like, maybe you'll, maybe you'll burn your house down. Maybe you'll do that. That would be awesome. I would not be that upset. Unless you also burnt my house down, in which case your insurance is going to be paying me a lot of money. I think it's so funny that you can get these rune holder things and they go up in- I don't know. <laughs> and they get bigger. What the fuck am I trying to say? <laughs> Definitely did not see the around part. 
burned holes in his pants. Fucking fireworks. Like, that is... an occurrence. Oh yeah, I remember that. My family was always partial to bottle rockets, which were the worst. Because they don't even have any redeeming factors. They're not pretty. They are just loud. They're a little, like... That little bit of, like, hype that they do... Sounds... Like the very first, um... noise my phone makes when it rings. My ringtone is um, one of the turret songs from Portal. And they kind of go like, mm, first. Did I not get that grace before? I remember being very suspicious about this bridge. Did I, like, fucking fall off? Can't open the map. That's weird. I remember one summer where it was before, like after, I, once I turned like 15, they stopped making me come with them camping, which was great. I don't know what age you're supposed to leave your children home alone, but it was lower in the 90s. And around 15, I was allowed to stay home for the weekend. Because the summer previous, we had gone to like my uncle's camp, which wasn't a campground. You know, you can't fuck around in a campground because the park rangers will kick you out. But at my uncle's camp, there was nobody else around, and they were literally- that was- I think that was the weekend that they put the couch on the fire pit, and let me tell you how bad a couch smells when it smolders for three days. And they just kept setting bottle rockets off until literally like four o'clock in the morning. And I was sleeping in a tent, you know, 20 feet away from where they were setting the bottle rockets off. And I remember coming outside just like fucking furious, but 14, so you can't be, you're not allowed to be furious at your parents at 14. I was just like, are you guys fucking kidding me? Are you kidding me? Could you shut up? I came out so that I could ask for the keys to the truck so I could try to sleep in the truck instead of my tent. And then I got like bitched at for sleeping in the truck instead of the tent. Like, why do you have to do that? Why can't you just sleep in your tent? Why do you have to be so... And then I didn't go camping with them ever again. My father was also one of those men that snores so bad. That's why I had my own tent. Because I saved up all my money so I could buy my own tent so I didn't have to sleep in the fucking camper with this goddamn rock crusher of a man. I would be happier if I were.
Where's Sarah to lament at my upbringing again? Okay, so this weapon doesn't work on this guy. All right. What's strong against purple? I like, I don't know. I liked camping most of the time until I started being a teenager. I would always try to take crocheting with me because I liked doing things and then I always would get made fun of for doing that so that was always great and I loved that. But I liked being in the woods, I liked being outside. It kind of has ruined me as an adult though because my parents' idea of camping was go to a state campground in your pop-up with 12 of your best friends and then spend four days drinking which seemed so fun when I was 10, you know? Because you get to be the kid that goes to the cooler to get your dad a beer. Very high praise. Very, very important job. So now in my head, I'm like, oh, I wish I had that with my friends. But realistically, do I want to go? Do I want to drive three hours away from home to set up a pop-up where I can't shower and then spend four days drinking? No. Other purple? There's a there's a different purple. Oh yeah, gravity. Exactly. I can spend four days drinking at home. I used to play in the fire. Oh yeah. So so that basically means I can't go camping. I'm sorry. The the forest does not have Wi-Fi. I can't. I've gotten to the point in my life where. Really? Will gravity do it, though? Where'd that gravity sword go? Oh, is this the wrong one? That sounds like the dream, Dav. That's okay. I have no assistant for this show, so I have no one to ask to be on call for me. Actually, I could probably ask the girl who was helping me. But, I don't know. Really only for a weekend, and then what's the point? Okay, I guess I haven't... ...actually upgraded this at all.
Ingrid and I went camping once. So, Ingrid and I used to be very rough and ready. Well, we were both individually rough and ready. And we were, I really wanted him to take, to, I really wanted to take him up north because Grid is from Pennsylvania originally. And I'm very invested. A lot of my identity is built on the Adirondacks. So I wanted to take him up into the Adirondacks. And we were broke, of course. So I thought we would go camping because camping's cheap. And we had a tent and ostensibly it was a two man tent. So that's like two. We're two people. That's two. I can count. Um, so a two-man tent is not a, per a tent that fits two people comfortably, first of all. And second, when you've ridden on a motorcycle for eight hours and then you try to sleep on the ground, it doesn't matter if you're still 24. It's not, it's not a good time. <laughs> Bad time. What do I not have enough of in order to... Oh, arcane. I, you know, I don't have anything else upgraded. I try this one more time and then wrap it up for this evening. Today, today hath made me tired. slammed me. Okay. That's true. Yeah, I think we definitely need to reevaluate strategy before we attach before we attack him. I I'm going to have to figure out a better weapon to use and then upgrade it. So that's probably going to take a little bit of trial and error unless I just beg you for the solution. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to wrap it up tonight. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. I really appreciate it. Um, I will be... I will continually strive to be in a better mood <laughs> going forward. But yeah, we'll check out Maniac Mansion tomorrow night. I think that's going to be fun. So thanks, friends. See you next time.